So I know you guys have been waiting for this video and it is finally here. Right behind me is the Samsung S95B, Samsung's OLED TV, the one that everyone has been talking about. You've seen comparisons, but you've been waiting for that gaming video and here it is guys. And I have to tell you, this TV is awesome. Everything you've heard is practically true. Uh, this TV has a lot of great features and benefits, uh, but let's talk about the design and the style first before we get into some of that Kyos Gaming features. Now, it's a 65 inch, also comes in the 55 inch variant. Pricing is 3,000 for the 65, 2199 for the 55 inch. So it's very well priced, but it's in a very awkward position in terms of Samsung TV. It's kind of like in the middle between the 8K and the 4K uh, QLED. But I think this TV is better than both of them. Now, you're wondering why. Well, design wise, it's super thin. This thing is very, very thin. Thinner than my wallet, almost as thin as my credit cards. Uh, this thing is a very thin TV. It has a central base there, so it's nicely placed, so you don't have to have a bigger TV stand. You can actually have a smaller stand because it's a center-based uh, stand for the TV. And also some nice clearing for your uh, soundbar. So whatever soundbar you choose should roughly fit into the space you have there. Now, it comes with four HDMI 2.1 ports. I will say this to my unit, I was having some troubles with some of the HDMI ports. I've talked to other people, no one had, so I think there might be some issue with my HDMI ports. Just putting it out there, but the HDMI ports are HDMI 2.1. There's one that's an eARC, and uh, of course, this is very useful for your next-gen gaming consoles, right? If you're playing in your Xbox Series X or your PlayStation 5. So, what does that mean for us gamers? Let me just put it this way: the games look absolutely fantastic, and you know what? Just just take a look. <laughs> See how parts of it are blowing? Those are its weak spots. Activating the gravity lift. 
We're safe now. The band is they, they have something they call a conservatory. That's all I know. It's picked up north of here. Dig site. I couldn't stop them. But you can. You have to. Consider it done. That's good. So the very first thing you notice are the colors. The colors are so rich and vibrant, something you truly expect from an OLED TV, but they're also bright and you don't lose those colors when they actually brighten up. That is something that a traditional OLED TV just can't do. Again, this is a QD OLED television from Samsung, very new technology, a different principle that really sets those boundaries. Now you will notice this clearly if you're on the side, so if you're not sitting right at the center and you're gaming, you're gonna notice how those colors still stay rich uh you know horizon forbidden west looks really good those colors pop out you've got your blues your reds they really stand out on this tv and it doesn't matter what angle you're at it, it still looks great same thing with you know halo infinite uh even though those colors are a bit muted you can see how rich they actually stand out on screen that is a very good thing and that's color volume and that really pushes the boundary there especially for a tv like this now you guys also heard audio from this uh, TV. Now, this is a TV that has, of course, that center channel built into it. And uh, the audio is actually pretty good. Uh, normally, I put the volume at around 50%. You can go up to 100. I'll say between 50 to 75% is a sweet spot here. Uh, definitely a soundbar would be better, but it still is a nice experience with this TV in terms of the uh, volume. I do have higher ceilings, as you guys can see here. So it kind of, uh, kind of resonates while you're gaming. Now the gaming experience is fun and and uh, just very uh, easy. So Samsung mentioned uh, that they were gonna have a gaming hub. That's something we don't have on this TV yet. There is a media hub where you can of course navigate through your media menu uh, in certain ways. Now for the gaming hub itself, um, hopefully that comes through because we can have game streaming services. But just sitting down on the couch, swapping between your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox uh, uh, Series X is a very simple process uh, to do. And that also allows you to jump in and use your game center. First software features is of course, pressing and holding the play and pause button brings up the game menu bar. Now you can change your input lag. I have it on fastest here. Uh, it's standard in terms of the kind of, you know, uh, gameplay games I'm playing. I could change to FPS or sports, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go down. You can see the aspect ratio is locked because we're playing a console game. Same thing with the mini, mini map zoom. Speakers are through the TV for this video. There's a help guide and this in-depth game settings. You can see 60 FPS on screen, HDR is on, VRR is off. So that is up there, at least recognizing the things that you need uh, as a gamer uh, for a TV like this. But how does it work for, say, playing a PC on a TV? So I connected my MSI GS77 uh, laptop. It's an Intel 12th gen laptop. And I wanted to play some Call of Duty. I usually play Call of Duty on PC. And the experience, again, was seamless. Now, the difference here is that you can go into that game center here and you can go ahead and change the resolution to 16 by nine, 21 by nine, 32 by nine. But you can go ahead and do that and push it. And the gameplay experience was really solid. It played really well. Again, you have FreeSync built into it, uh, FreeSync Premium. So it supports those things you expect in terms of you know, high refresh rates in, in your, you know, your gaming environment, which makes for a very great gaming experience. Now, 
Uh, there are a couple of things, of course, this TV does, right? You do have uh, the full software suite, which uh, Samsung has kind of overhauled. Something new with their new Media Hub. Now we have this whole large menu where you still have your list of apps on top, and then you can move down, and that takes you to Samsung TV Plus. We've got free movies and all that fun stuff there. But your apps are here, and this is kind of like the media hub now. This is where all your media will be housed. Uh, but according to Samsung, there should be another hub, which will also have all your games. So you can have all the games in one section, including gaming apps and gaming consoles. So with those changes in place, how do I see this TV as a day-to-day -day TV, whether it's, of course, watching content uh, like Netflix, where you really see those colors pop out. Now, I will mention this, though, there is no Dolby Vision. Samsung doesn't support it. Does support HDR 10 Plus. In my mind, I will state this right here, I believe that it's not something that a lot of you will notice just because uh, the bit rates on Netflix for either Dolby Vision or whatever is super low compared to what you get from Blu-ray. It's like in the 20s compared to like 100, 100 megabits uh, on Blu-ray. So you're not gonna notice those things that you really would get from Dolby Vision in my view. But the TV does support Dolby Atmos as well. Um, but when you look at that and you look at what it brings gaming wise, it's truly impressive. It reaches those peak brightness that you expect. Now, I could either measure it for you, but honestly, uh, go check out FOMO's video. He did an awesome video on the brightness measurements of the Samsung S95 Beach, detailing how bright this TV. I've seen some other videos where people are comparing it to the LG C2 and how bright it is. I have an LG C1 TV, uh, and that TV wasn't bright. So my game session, I really had to crank it up, especially to see darker scenes and darker rooms, like a game like Resident Evil. I mean, it was really dark on, the, on my C1. On this TV, it was just like, you know, it was not like daylight, but you could clearly see everything around you. And I think those are the benefits you're gonna get from the uh, Samsung uh, QLED when it comes to uh, your gaming experience. It is one of those things that honestly you have to see. I know a lot of people are skeptical uh, because this is a new technology and also because of Samsung's price point. Because look, let's face it, we know that Sony's pricing is a bit higher and Samsung's is at 3,000. Honestly, for me, doesn't make sense, but I'm happy it's cheaper because I will tell you, go buy this TV. This is absolutely worth it for just uh, the color volume alone. It is ridiculous to see how this technology has come a long way where I can turn on my Xbox and I can see the vibrance. I turn on my PlayStation 5 and I can see how those colors actually stand out to make things stand out within the game. And that kind of experience is something you can't get anywhere else. This is probably one of the best TVs for your next gen consoles. I fully recommend it. So anyway, guys, there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to pick this TV up, use the link down below. It is worth it. And if you have already, let me know your thoughts down below. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.